Restaurant dining is very popular during the holiday season, but is your dining etiquette correct? Well, we've got some tips for you. Here's Crystal Darling. Sit up straight, move that purse off the table, and put those cell phones away. These are a few of the basics of sitting at a table for dinner. But with just that, we've only scratched the surface. At Luciano's of Chicago on East Bay Street, we spoke to etiquette teacher Donna Mortimer about how to perfect our dining skills for the next big date. In between your meal, in between rest, you can put your elbows on the table if you're engaged in conversation. But for the most part of the meal, the elbows are off the table. Your cell phone is a no-no at the dinner table. Dining is all about the rapport between the people that you're having dinner with. So cell phones are out of the question. And with the basic skills out of the way, we looked through Luciano's new menu and selected a few popular food items. Once that was done, we went through two of the trickiest dining rules. Okay, when the soup is placed in the front of you, you take the soup spoon, you will see if the soup spoon will be a round spoon, and you would put the spoon in the soup, and you would spoon it away from you, and touch the top of the bowl, and then bring it to your lips. Then Mortimer took a step-by-step -step through cutting steak. We take, make sure the tines are pointed downward and the steak knife, you have your finger here so that you have a firm grip. Okay, and you take one piece, you make sure the tines are in the steak and you cut a bite size. Put your knife at the top of the plate and you switch hands and you eat your first piece of steak. She explained that dessert is not something at the end of the meal to rush through. This actually is, is what you could also eat with a knife, a, a fork and a spoon. Okay, although it's not a dessert, but you crack or anything, but you could because it's like a a la mode. Usually you would eat a a la mode with a fork and a spoon, but you could take everything up with one scoop. Take this. And go straight down. And go straight down. Okay. But it doesn't end there. Another big part of table etiquette isn't so much of what goes into your mouth, but what comes out of it. Don't get too personal. You know, you talk about pleasant things at the dinner table. You don't want to come into an argument about politics or illness. You don't want to talk about religion or sex or money. You know, you want to keep it flowing. You want to talk about the weather. You want to talk about what you will be doing for your Christmas holidays. Now you know what to do. So take these tips with you the next time you go to eat. Crystal Darling, Sadness Network News.